guys, it's me, Janelle, again. Uh, it's been an extremely long time since I have done a vlog, and I figured that now would be as good a time as any to update you on what has been going on in my life so far. Um, basically, I just turned 24. My birthday was February 2nd, so the first day of spring, and um, it was actually very nice. I was able to spend some quality time with him. He works um, long hours and five days a week, and sometimes he even works on weekends. I think tomorrow um, is Saturday, and he's actually going into work um, to do an extra project. Um, so any time that I'm able to spend with my love is um, a, good, a good thing and something that I look forward to um, very often. I, uh, I spend a lot of time at home uh, by myself. I actually don't have any friends here in Austin just because I tend to be a little bit more of an introvert and, ooh, bless you. <laughs> um, sorry, that's my dog, which I'll get to in a couple minutes. Um, but yeah, so I, I don't really get to, um, to meet a lot of people and um, I, I'm okay with that. I actually thrive um, by myself most of the time. I like going for really long walks, and I like um, spending my time doing art projects. Um, I've been recently working on um, doing some watercolor projects, so um, actually I'll, I'll show you one. Here, let me grab it. Um, this one is one that I did for um, in bulk, which was actually on my birthday, and uh, I'll, I'll talk about that in another video if you would like. Um, I am a Christian Wiccan, so that is a little bit of a conundrum to some people, but uh, it is my faith, it is my spirituality, so I hope that all of you guys can can be accepting of it and just sort of like it. But um, So yeah, this is just like a little picture that I did um, that symbolizes a lot of different things about spring and about my spirituality and my passion for writing. Um, so this is it. It's a little hard to see, but it's a, a rabbit, and uh, it's moonlight, and he's uh, sort of being surrounded by a lot of um, fireflies or lightning bugs, whatever you call them, and there's some flowers going on, and uh, I got some raven feathers, um, one which is serving as a quilt for uh, my writing, um, some candles um, with the pentacle, and um, down here I signed it, it's backwards, or it might not be when I upload this, I'm not sure, um, but it has my uh, Wiccan name, which is Amnia Karasu Ame, um, which is uh, another thing that I can talk about in another video if you would like. <laughs> but yeah, so um, just little projects like that uh, that I've been working on, and also I, I quit my job. <laughs> I quit my job at Ross um, in order to pursue my career as a freelance writer, and um, I started writing some articles, which I'm hoping to publish soon, and I am also working on three different novels. Um, one is very adult, <laughs> one is um, for uh, young teens or even older teens, and another um, is sort of a cross piece between a, excuse me, <laughs> my nose is really itchy from my allergies, um, a cross between something that you can read um, uh, stories from it to uh, your younger siblings or your children, um, and also um, parts that are a little bit uh, more in-depth and have a uh, more complicated background, too. All right. Um, so um, another update uh, would be my pets. I have one beautiful cat. His name is Lestat, and he um, was adopted from the Austin Humane Society through PetSmart. Um, he is a mutt. <laughs> I think that he's a mix between a regular tabby cat and a Manx cat. He has a tiny short stub tail and I would show you if I could find him, but I think he's sleeping somewhere so uh, maybe he'll be in another video sometime because he does like being around me quite often. Um, the second is this Valentine's Day I was actually able to go with Yen to different animal shelters. We've been um, talking about getting another pet for a while now, um, actually several months, he really missed his dog from back home, and he he's not a cat person. <laughs> the cat was purely for me, um, and he really wanted a big dog, and um, we have been living in a smaller apartment now for a while, 
um, but we actually might be moving again um, shortly and we'll have an opportunity to look for a larger um, space to be living in. So I thought that it was sort of the perfect opportunity to um, sort of be able to have an addition to our family, um, a one that we are very, very happy with. Um, so without further ado, let me introduce you to Myla. Uh, Myla is a one year old, um, also mutt. She's a mix between a um, black lab, a retriever, and um, a hound. So she has an um, extremely well t well rounded temperament. Uh, she's very lazy during the day um, and like when she's inside, but uh, as soon as she goes outside, she perks right up. She loves playing and she's extremely well behaved. Um, she knows sit. I taught her stay, heal. Um, excuse me, I have like hiccups randomly for no reason. And she also um, now can walk off leash and uh, she's just so eager to please. I barely had to do anything at all. So if anybody has any tips or tricks for training your dog, um, sort of more advanced tricks, I would really love um, some pointers. So comment down below and let me know. Okay, so once again, let me try and see if I can find Myla for you. All right, let's see, where is she? Can I find her on this camera? It's a little bit hard. So this is Myla. She is very happy to meet all of you. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, this camera's not that good. Um, oh, Myla, don't hit the camera. But yes, she is our love, um, which is precisely why we... <laughs> She's such a silly girl. Um, but that's precisely why we named her um, Myla. So uh, Myla tends to sound um, when you say it quickly like my love. And um, I just thought that it was a really good cool name, um, one that I sort of just came up with um, spur of the moment <laughs> um, in the car on the ride home. And uh, it just suits her really well. Um, her name at the shelter was Molly. So I was looking for something that would sound very similar so that she would be able to get used to it very easily. And uh, within the first day, she knew that her name was Myla. <laughs> so um, one of the things that I uh, mentioned a little bit earlier was that uh, I might be moving again soon. And that is because I am extremely dedicated and in love to Hyun. And he is not happy with his job um, at IBM here. Uh, not that he doesn't actually like it or that he hasn't been doing well at it. He actually has received an enormous amount of praise for his work. Um, he's just ready to move on. Um, he thinks that he's been here for three years now and it's something that he he wants to do for himself. He just wants to explore and see what else is out there because he's 25 now and um, it's just a really great time for him to do something different with his life and sort of see what other avenues are out there. So um, he's been doing a lot of different interviews with different companies, none of which I can name, um, but basically uh, we could be moving to any number of, of places from New York to California to um, overseas even, um, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing a, a new place and maybe exposing myself to a different area where I can sort of start fresh and maybe meet a couple different people. So, um, let's see. Sorry, I have like um, a sheet here with some notes um, because I tend to ramble very easily if you hadn't noticed. Um, but So the next thing I, I just wanted to do really quickly before I end this video is ask, um, ask you guys what you want to see. I have um, plenty of different ideas for videos, but I sort of wanted to take a poll and know... Sorry, there's a bag that is precariously moving. Just one second. There we go. I didn't want it to fall. <laughs> but yeah, so ask you guys what it is that you would like to see from me. Um, I can do uh, makeup tutorials, um, do-it-yourself tutorials, um, mostly on skincare or herbal products that I make myself. I've been making my own um, skin lotion now for um, about a month, and it's because, I don't know if you can see on camera, but um, 
actually you might not be able to see. I get psoriasis really badly. Um, it's it's mainly on my neck and on my scalp, and uh, it itches a lot. <laughs> but um, it's something that I've had my whole life basically, and I've tried many different lotions, and I really don't like the medical products that are out there because it stings really badly and even though it works it's something that I really don't don't enjoy using and I'm also very careful with whatever um, medicines I use and I put in my body um, I think that everybody should be um, cautious and they should read um, all all of the possible side effects I know I always do um, so just be careful with that but these are all natural made with um, basically anything that you can get at your grocery store um, or maybe like a whole food store or something like that so um, generally very inexpensive especially if you do it in um, larger portions instead of trying to do like a tiny little bottle <laughs> um, let's see I can also do um, cooking videos I've been working now on my cooking skills for um, a couple years and I have some some recipes my mom gave me thank you by the way um, that was a wonderful Christmas present and I also have um, some from Hyun um, so Korean dishes um, he's extremely good at cooking as well it's one of the reasons why I fell in love with him <laughs> and um, personally I know how to make a lot of different um, pasta dishes and um, just enchiladas uh, just anything that you can think of normally I'll be able to make it I'm not good at big roasts like turkeys or ham so um, I also have been trying to eat a lot cleaner so eating more vegetarian and vegan meals um, so if anybody wants to know how to make some vegan dishes I've been um, working really hard to, to learn how to do that um, and make stuff that tastes really good um, and sort of isn't necessarily a substitution but um, just an, a different a different kind of food, a different way of eating. Um, and then the last one would be, that I can think of at least, is um, basically a Q&A session on my spirituality. So basically, what is Wicca? What is What does it mean to me to be um, Wiccan or to be a Christian Wiccan? <laughs> Sorry, Myla is chewing on her bone. But yes. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for listening to me rant for the past 12 minutes or so, and um, I really hope that everybody is doing well, and that anybody who comes along and watches these videos, I hope that you enjoy them, and that you get to know me, and we get to um, have a wonderful rest of our year together, alright? Thanks, bye guys!